Tajikistan Adventure, Part 2. Episode, Hunting for Marco Polo Argali. The hunt is on. We are once again in a helicopter and on our way to the impressive Pamir Mountains. Tajikistan is a particularly attractive hunting country for genuine mountain hunters. On this adventure, Amon Amon is on the trail of particularly large Marco Polo Argali and Pamir Ibex. As we fly to our base camp, which sits at an altitude of almost 3,800 meters, we are given a glimpse of the diverse landscapes of the country. We can hardly wait to touch down in the Pamir Mountains so that we can fire the Amon Amon 300, a rifle developed jointly by Dallas Lane and our master marksman. The prospect of the hunts ahead of us is tremendously exciting. Nikolai Karakul has once again managed to plan and prepare our hunt flawlessly. We have now been camping for five days at an altitude of 3,780 meters at the base camp, and when we hunt, we are ranging between 4,000 and 5,200 meters. During the hunts, we are always on the move for at least 14 hours in the freezing cold, regardless of the weather. We start each day with a car journey that takes about four hours through rugged terrain. Only then do we arrive at the actual location where the hunt begins. We were able to spot a group of several large Marco Polo Argali in this area on the first day, but since then they seem to have disappeared from the face of the earth. And today is no exception. Firstly, the path has to be cleared by our Tajik friends. Just beyond this spot, we stalk this group of wild sheep for between six and eight kilometers a day. Afterwards, we drive back the same distance by car in the dark. After five days of unsuccessful hunting, we are almost at the end of our tether. We must not disregard the physical strain. After days of hunting like this, there are lots of bruises and small punctures from the many thorns. In addition, we don't get much sleep and the altitude is clearly being felt. Two members of our team have already been lying flat for two days. Diagnosis, altitude sickness. We are, so to speak, dead on our feet. But Amon Amon and Der Filmfuchs are nevertheless hanging in there. As always, we are in high spirits and remain hopeful that today will be the day we can finally start stalking the Argali. But first we have to be on the lookout again. We can hardly believe our eyes. There they are, and it's the whole group. The excitement levels skyrocket and all the pain is immediately forgotten. We have to bide our time here, and as soon as the group is out of our field of vision, we try to get as close as possible without being seen. We are keeping good time. Nevertheless, we are skeptical as to whether we can still make a success of this difficult stalk. Today, in particular, the weather is changing so quickly, the wind is strong and unfortunately also shifting in all directions. Despite this, we decide to give it a go.
The first ridge is done. The wild sheep are still out of our line of sight. We still have to get past this herd unseen. Then our chances will be high. Just one more crossing of the river, another hundred meters of ascent, and then we should be able to spot the herd somewhere. Our strength is slowly and surely running out. We get another glimpse of three rams. The odds of making it to the finish line today are good. The last climb lies ahead of us and the sheep have not yet escaped. The tension in the team is clearly rising. So, today's hunt comes to an unsuccessful end. The herd with the big rams has somehow got away from us, and the other group included Argali that were too young. We can't believe we're traveling back without any prey. But of course, giving up is out of the question. We have a new plan for tomorrow. We split up our team and stay in contact via radio. That way we can keep an eye on two valleys at the same time. But first, there's the car journey followed by what will almost certainly be a sleepless night. Our thoughts are only on the Argali. Following a very short night, the arduous car journey and a strenuous eight kilometer stalk are already behind us. We are at an altitude of 4,500 meters. And by now, our batteries are more or less depleted. Our strength has basically been completely exhausted. We only have our mental strength to draw on now. But at last, our plan has worked. It's 3 p.m. and we've spotted the Argali, but they're still a good 1,500 meters away from us. We try to get as close as possible to the big rams. Hopefully the mirage is not too strong. During the last few meters of the stalk, you ask yourself a lot of questions. For example, will we get close enough to the group, or will they perhaps notice us first? But now it's time to put these thoughts to one side and prepare as best we can for the shot.
At this point, I remain motionless. Amon Amon, Pano and Rahim stalk even closer. The rule is, the closer the better. Unfortunately, the mirage is extremely strong today. At least the sheep aren't worried and are still in bed. So, once again, we have to wait for our chance. After 35 minutes on the attack, the Argali finally come to life. They get up and start heading down. As we watch the wandering wild sheep, we realize just how strong the individual animals in this group are. Amon Amon's nerves have clearly been put to the test once again, but as it turns out, there is yet another hurdle to overcome. Due to the persistent cold, the running time of the camera batteries is very limited. Hopefully they won't run out before a shooting opportunity arises. The minutes pass like hours. The tension is almost unbearable. Finally, after hours of waiting and watching, there is some movement in the group. The last battery is already running on reserve. Will St. Hubert be kind to us? The wild sheep on the right-hand edge of this group only has to stand clear once. Hopefully, the record-breaking hunter will be able to keep his concentration. How could it have been otherwise? Amon Amon keeps his nerve and actually manages to bag a Marco Polo Argli in these extreme conditions. The next morning after the snowfall, the camera batteries are ready for use again. What a hunt and what a crowning finale. <laughs>